I was just trying to look through some of my emails before uh, after dinner before mass today just to try and catch up because I, I, I tend to fall behind uh, when days are busy. So um, I came across this one email which said thank you Father for uh, the, the, the lovely masses here and the wonderful young people and all the music and that and uh, I like your homilies though you don't always say what I want to hear. And I thought good. <laughs> good. Because if we only hear what we want to hear then we will only hear the areas where we don't have to convert, the things that we don't have to change, the places where we don't have to grow. And while it's important that we recognize the good that's in us too, absolutely, if we focus only on the good that's in us, we will not convert, we will not change, and therefore we will not grow. And not growing is, we're, we're living beings, like if, 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 uh, if we're not growing, we're dying. <laughs> You know, if we're not growing, we're dying. Like, there's, it, it, you, can't, you can't just sit still. Like, even, in, 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 even dormant creatures, like, they're still getting older. And uh, bears, what, hedgehogs and that. As they're, as they're dormant and that, okay, they, they go into a proper sleep, some, like, like some of our young people here. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but the body is still consuming calories. Not as many, obviously, but it's, they're still alive. Like, they're just really deep, deeply sleeping. So even though it may look, they may look dormant, they're still alive. And they're still moving forward in time. Same with us in our spiritual life. If we're not, if we're not growing, if we're not moving forward, we're moving backwards. Because we have a limited amount of time when we're here. This, 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 this is a very important word which uh, I think maybe we don't use often enough when it comes to our faith, and when it comes to our prayer lives, when it comes to youth ministry especially, is the word urgent, right? Urgent. Um, complacency is deadly. It is in, not in the good sense. Like we have a Dublin a dub here it's just deadly when she means something is good. Uh, but uh, it's, de it's detrimental to our faith. If we don't see like every day as important to try and get things right now, today, immediately, then time is going to pass. And before you know it, we've just kind of, you know, sat in our easy chair and kind of lulled ourselves into this false sense of security that everything is okay and sure I'm grand. And it's, 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 it's detrimental to the spiritual life. On the other hand, if we have the sense of urgency, okay, a sense of urgency, like I have to change now. I have to change, I have to deepen my prayer life now. I have to deepen my relationship with the Lord right now. My time to convert is now because I don't know how much time I have. And that, that, that's not, that, that should not lead us now to, I don't know, desperation or depression or stress. Please, please don't get stressed. There's no need for stress. There's just need for action. Okay? So if we know that we need to change certain things, we don't get stressed about it. We just change them. <laughs> okay? We just get stuck in doing what I need to do. Rather than getting stressed about it, thinking about it, just do it. And to, like, to recognize that, that this, this conversion, this change that needs to happen in me, needs to happen now. And if I fall, get up again and move on. And if I fall, get up again and move on. And this is how we, we live our lives, you know, growing from day to day in our faith. And then along the way, like, the Lord, it's, 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 like, it's like fertilizer. Even for myself now, when, when I have to, like, you know, preach every day and that, um, I'm always scanning and listening for ideas and for, uh, I don't get a, a chance to read many books, but I, get, I, I skim. Um, and so you come across a good quotation or something, you know, and I underline it, write it on, the, on my phone or whatever it is, so I'll remember it, so that we can use it, because the Lord, like, he gives, he provides little, little fertilizer, also for my spiritual life, that, you know, we can grow. And then we're, we're, we're growing, we're sharing these things, often conversations that I'll have with some of the young people here as well. You know, they'll share something or something will come to mind that's just, you know, beautiful and helpful. And we can share all of that here and all benefit then from the grace that any one person receives. But it is urgent. It really is urgent. This week we're praying also for the martyrs of the church, those who have, who have suffered and are suffering because of their faith throughout the world. Like, they understand that sense of urgency. They understand, in, in the most dramatic sense, that they really may not be here next week if they continue to practice their faith. 
Would you? Would you continue? Would you keep going? Would you keep going to Mass? If not, could it cost you a bit of your reputation or your time? But if it could actually cost you your life, would you do it? There are millions of people who do risk their lives for Mass. Astoundingly courageous people whose love for the Lord surpasses their love for their own lives. That I just, I, I feel, I always feel like that big in front of you know, men and women of that kind of caliber. Just so, so in love with the Lord that, that he is there everything. And they risk their lives and, and many give their lives. And we don't hear about these things. Why? Because, you know, Kim Kardashian got a new pair of jeans. Or, or what else do people watch? Top Gear, new episode. Or this is the stuff that comes up in my feed anyway. Not the Kim Kardashian <laughs> <laughs> but they, 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 they know me well. They send me all te- techy stuff of, you know, new evidence to prove the existence of black holes. Ooh, that's the kind of stuff that I look at. Uh, so, but like, this is the kind of stuff that interests us. And, 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 and Christians dying the far side of the world. Or, do you know? And, and, and it's, just, it doesn't, it's not important to us anymore. It just doesn't really... It interrupts us, makes us feel uncomfortable. And we don't like to be made feel uncomfortable. So we entertain ourselves and forget about the, the suffering of others. So this week is, is it's an important week to remember our brothers and sisters who suffer for love of Jesus Christ, for love of the church, for love of her teaching. So we want to remember them and show our unity with them, pray for them, support them. More than likely, when we, if and when we get to heaven, There'll be a couple of grades above us, and we'll actually be proud of them. There won't be any jealousy. Like, we'll be proud of them. That, 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 thank God there were some. There were people who held the line amidst such adversity. So we pray for all of those who are risking their lives in these days. Those who've understood the urgency of of the now, to pray, convert, change, grow. We pray that we as one church may walk together towards heaven. Amen.